I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, a wet pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Today, we're talking about Instagram Reels because Instagram apparently is no longer a photo app. So I've gotta learn, I've gotta adapt, and we've gotta start making some Instagram Reels. So today, I am meeting up with the guys over at Project X60. He's wrapped his car, he does car wraps deliveries, that's his shtick. And because he's a freaking great guy, he also brought his dad along, who has a pretty cool car. So we're gonna shoot those, and we're gonna create real specific content. We're gonna get real today. As you can see, we have a 1970 Dodge Challenger in what I believe is called Plum Crazy Purple. Names were way easier back then. And then Travis has his beautifully wrapped C63 Mercedes, which sounds and looks absolutely mad. I'm gonna walk you guys through a little bit of why I'm making real specific content, which means that we're shooting kind of sideways, which to me is kind of annoying. I'm not super stoked on the fact that Instagram is doing that. When I've put so much freaking effort into photography, they're making us do it, they're making us change, and I have to adapt or die. So we're gonna go to our next location because we took a bunch of photos already here at this location. I'll show you some of them up on the screen, and we'll see you at the next spot. So what we're trying to do here, I'm shooting in 60 frames per second, and the client, Project X60, wants as many clips as possible so they can stitch together their own Instagram Reels. So what you're seeing me do is just kind of dance around the car. We're obviously parked somewhere we maybe shouldn't be. We're gonna go around this whole place because it's freaking gorgeous and get as much content as we can. So one thing you might see me doing is kind of like turning and then whipping away. What I'm hoping we can do with that in post is actually create some of these whip transitions. So try some of that out. Do some kind of turny stuff. People seem to like when you turn things on the Instagram Reels. To me, class kids a wet pop. Death to the hit it once. And then you can use that even as a transition. So maybe the steering wheel inside the car, you can wrap around the steering wheel and then use that as a transition to maybe the rims or wheels and other designs on the car. Trying our best out here, you know, to keep up with freaking Mark Zuckerberg and who's the guy who owns Instagram? Mark Zuckerberg. He owns Instagram. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Yeah. One thing that's really great about the RS2 that DJI put in here is they actually put in portrait mode for us. So all we have to do is swipe up on the menu and voila, we're now actually shooting in vertical mode. So this is super handy when you're trying to create reels. And of course you can see in some of my other footage that I was just doing handheld so we could get a lot of details in a shorter amount of time. But we're gonna try and get some really specific stuff because it's gorgeous out here. But one quick tip you can do when you are trying to do some of these whip pans or kind of quick whooshes to a certain design. As you can see, Project X60 has all kinds of designs on here, and I wanna do fun whooshes, but what I'm gonna do is actually reverse the footage in post. So for example, I'm gonna put the camera on this 60 here, and then I'm gonna drag down like this, and then in post, I can actually reverse that clip. Here are kind of my raw thoughts on Instagram Reels. If you enjoy making them, go for it. That's so awesome. I think it's a great kind of platform for people to create quick content. For someone like me that I've taken a long time to create, um, I guess a really nice profile on Instagram through photography and really honing my skills on that. And now Instagram's kind of saying like, that doesn't matter anymore. It's a little frustrating. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create reels because I kind of want to survive on the platform. But what I might suggest is start a YouTube channel. YouTube has always consistently rewarded its creators from the very beginning. And Instagram at the end of the day, even if you make a great reel and you get all the likes, really only reward you're getting from that is the likes and the whatever the dopamine hit of people liking you. And Instagram has always been trying to copy other platforms, whether it's Snapchat or Reels or through TikTok or whatever it is, or like IGTV with the YouTube. So at the end of the day, just get on YouTube because they're already doing it, they're already supporting you, but it's not that hard and it's really, really fun and really rewarding and you get to create actually a community. It's grown twice as fast for me than Instagram has even without having to change with the algorithm every freaking month or something. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I think I might focus a bit more on YouTube than Instagram. Bye. It's a little dark now.
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you did learn something. Hopefully we can make some cool reels moving forward uh, and put them on YouTube as well as shorts. Keep creating, keep enjoying, and just make sure that whatever you do, you're actually enjoying it. Don't stress hard to get likes because at the end of the day, you're awesome. Anyway, so you don't need them. Subscribe and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Peace.